Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And the situation in Ukraine, of course, is growing desperate by the day. Uh, President Joe Biden, he met with NATO, as we reported earlier today. And when he met with NATO, he literally said, it's time for NATO to flex its muscles as concerning Russia. And, uh, of course, it had already been reported by some uh, media outlets, including mainstream media, that the U.S. military uh, had sent in inspectors or they were basically aiding the convoys of military equipment going into Ukraine, putting troops on the ground inside of Ukraine. But the cold hard truth of the matter is, is that we have discovered uh, today that actually those troops are there under the auspices of being uh, equipment inspectors or there for doing the logistics of getting the military equipment in, the billions of dollars worth of military equipment that President Joe Biden has sent in. But in reality, what it is, is we actually have troops on the ground, on the front lines. Now, I'm not talking about subcontractors any longer, uh, like what appears on the Guardian News right here. I'll play this little clip here for you from the Guardian News, but listen to this. That's a that's a subcontracting soldier there talking about taking out the first Russian tank there inside of Ukraine. And of course, using these subcontractors allows for deflection. It allows for, uh, you know, we don't really have troops on the ground. These are the subcontractors. Here again, another American. Listen in. Stop. A lot of them very close to me. I don't know if you heard that, but there goes another one. A lot of people are asking me how much I'm getting paid to do this. I just want to make it clear. I am not getting paid a single dime. Nada, nothing. As a matter of fact, I'm hemorrhaging a lot of money being here to do this. So uh, this is complete volunteer. Another day in paradise. Whether or not it can really be a volunteer or not, I would have to disagree. I actually spoke with a uh, former uh, um, uh, enlisted military man uh, today, in fact, that was offered to go over to Ukraine to fight in that battle. He said it's extremely lucrative for American soldiers to be able to go, former American soldiers to be able to go over there and fight. But he was also warned by a friend of his that the situation is so desperate in Ukraine that it's really going into a major quagmire to actually enter into this battle whatsoever. Let's look at this part of the footage as well. Got a couple guys that got shot just a little while ago. Uh, brought up to the rear with a tank. Got my man right there, my commander. Got the USA patch on the shoulder. Got burning buildings. We got mortars. We got rockets. We got all the fun stuff to make it a beautiful day. And so there you have it, U.S. soldiers on the ground. But the thing is, is what we discovered uh, in our uh, information that we were able to glean today is that we now really have American troops, American soldiers, American special forces fighting on the front lines in this battle. So it's very serious. It's very tense. Uh, and it, it's very troubling to even to hear about this as well. Uh, also, I wanted to share with you that there has been talks that have begun about bringing uh, former President Barack Hussein Obama back uh, on uh, inside the White House to some degree. I will go into a special broadcast over on our Patreon channel at Israeli News Live. You can get a link in the description below if you want to see that. I'm going to record that tonight in details, the steps that I was told that would more than likely pave the way for that to happen. Uh, also, to let you know, I have heard and I have seen where they have been talking about we're running out of diesel fuel here in America, that our reserves are that uh, that low. I'll probably get a little bit more to that in Patreon, but just to let you guys know as well, the answer to that is yes, that is happening. Uh, as of right now, we have about three months supply, excuse me, three weeks supply of diesel fuel left. The train uh, people are already talking about going on strike around uh, Thanksgiving time. And oddly enough, that'd be right about the time we would run out of the supply ourselves. On Patreon, I'll try to do a little broadcast on that, give you a little bit more information as to what's called Causing that, what happened, the secret meeting that Obama had as well with the Saudis, how that went, what's happened as a result of that. Um, uh, and, and let's see here. Oh, gosh, some other things here. 
another issue I'll get into over on Patreon, more so on this one here. Uh, there was a news, uh, there were some investigative reporters there at the White House, or in Washington, I should say, today, that are formally requesting to know about uh, s spacecraft that have been sucking up water. Uh, and, uh, of course, they, they believe that this may be our own space type of craft. So, in other words, uh, we're using our own type of uh, equipment, taking up fresh water. There is uh, anticipated to be a, a water shortage here in the United States as well. Uh, there is a great concern of the economy totally collapsing by the end of the year. I do not know for sure if that will happen or not, uh, but I will try to give you what information I can as to why that possibly could happen. And it has a lot to do with the strike. It has a lot to do with diesel uh, if we really do run out of diesel, if we don't get the Saudis to step up and produce where we have that availability here, it could affect us majorly here back in the United States. So I want to make sure you guys were aware of what's going on. And then also, too, the Nord Stream, to, uh, Nord Stream uh, uh, pipeline. Uh, somebody actually, actually Bonnie uh, Harvey over uh, said to me today that Tucker Carlson named the woman, the American woman that was responsible uh, for the Russians actually hacking into the cloud and intercepting the phone call between her and the British, which clearly shows the evidence that the United States and the British did work together for the destruction of the Nord Stream pipeline there. And uh, I was told that once Putin listens to that particular audio recording, and the Russians are planning on making it public as well, they are going to make the, the, this, this recording public so that the American people can see that, in fact, it was indeed uh, the United States and Great Britain together that cooperated in the destruction of the Nord Stream pipeline, as Tucker Carlson brought out. Uh, remember, Tucker Carlson, if I'm not mistaken, is former FBI as well, uh, so he does know a lot about uh, these types of things. And... Uh, we're wanting to just for you to be able to know what the truth really is. Uh, again, I can't encourage you enough as far as the EMP shield. Look in the description below. The information is there. Your support of the work that we do here is vital. I can't thank you enough. You can see right on the top of your screen above my head, our mailing address, Stephen Benoon, P.O. Box 156, Sunbright, Tennessee, 37872. The website is RaleighNewsLive.org. We thank you. Um, and God bless you and thank you for listening.